Matt Foes, Regional Agronomist with 360 Yield Center here today. Standing out in the field or alongside of a field, want to talk a little bit about what we're seeing with regard to primary tillage and rippers. So just got started doing some fall tillage, trying to take out some compaction that I knew was there from 2016. And one of the things we noticed in a few places within the field is because it's been so hot in the last few weeks, and it has been so dry for the last several weeks that the ground has collapsed a lot and gotten very, very tight. And as a result of that, we're having a hard time doing two things. One is maintaining our depth of penetration with the ripper. And it gets hard enough where it wants to ride out of the ground. And then also where it is in the ground, we're not necessarily getting the explosion of the profile like we really are after to get rid of the compaction that we're out there to fix in the first place. So want to bring this up and have you kind of take a peek at what you're getting out of your ripper this year. This is regardless of what points are on the ripper, whether they be five inch, seven, nine or bigger, we're seeing the same effects happen regardless of, of brand of point that's on there. What we wanna do is make sure that we end up with the right result and not just cover the acres. Just like in the fall, in late fall, in November and December, when we, we are affectionately frost ripping when the conditions are poor, just trying to get it done, and we don't get a good job then, we can get a not good job done now. The idea of being out there to fracture the profile, incorporate residue, only happens if the ripper is truly running where it should be and the points are allowed to explode the ground the way they should. So make sure that you dig behind your ripper, see what kind of depth you're able to maintain. Because like I said, we wanna incorporate that oxygen into the soil to get mineralization going. We wanna incorporate that residue to get it started on breakdown. We're all excited because we're out there in early October. We're getting stuff done that sometimes doesn't happen until mid or late October. The thing is, we gotta make sure we're doing a good job so that we end up with the right result at the end of the year. So walk behind your ripper, dig behind your ripper, make sure it's going in the ground to the correct depth, make sure we're getting done what we really wanna get done for 2018. With that, have a great and safe harvest, and we'll look forward to talking to you soon.